My name is Sam or Jawa, depends, whichever one you want to call me. And I'm part of the team ministry at Mainland Baptist Church. And today I'm here to read a devotional for you. Before our devotional, let's pray. Thank you, God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up today. Thank you for giving me the strength, motivation, and the chance to do this. And so that I can reach the hearts to whoever the viewer is. And so that they can open their hearts to hear and learn. Amen. All right. Today's devotional is called Help Me and I Will Help Them. And our scripture reading comes from Mark 5, 18, 18 through 20. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit, Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee and hath had compassion on thee and he departed it to departed and began to publish in decapolis how great the things jesus had done for him and all men did marvel the scripture um the thing i got is like when when god does something for you go go tell people go Go, go let the, the world know. Uh, we are told to let our light shine slow before men. And this guy, let him, let it shine. So, like that one song says, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let your light shine. And it'll be seen. So, yeah, our passage starts here. Frank Morris lost sight in his right eye due to a horseback riding accident as a six-year-old boy. When he was 16, he lost sight in his left eye during a boxing match. Morris find, found it frustrating to be constantly dependent on someone to guide him. When his father read a news story about a program in Switzerland that trained guide dogs for soldiers blinded during the First World War, Morris sent a letter asking to join the program. Is what you say really true? If so, I want one of those dogs, and I am not alone. Thousands of blind like me abhor being dependent on others. Help me, and I will help them. Train me, and I will bring back my dog and show people here. In 1928, Morris completed the program and returned to America with Buddy, who guided him safely through the streets of New York City. In 1929, he co-founded the Seeing Eye, and for the next 27 years, he helped train hundreds of guide dogs for blind people. When we find something that is new and helpful, the natural response is to want to share it with others. When we know something has made a positive difference for us, we want other people to enjoy that same change. It is not hard for us to share the news of something we are excited about with others, yet sometimes we find it challenging to be faithful to share the most important thing in the world, Jesus, with those around us. If we remember what he has done for us, we will find that we have plenty to say to others about him. Today's growth principle is God has given so much to us that it is only right we share what, what we have received from him with others. Um, for me, I think of it like... Like... When I get a birthday gift and it's something really important, like something I get from family or like my first reaction is to go like, not brag, but to tell people I got it and like how much it means to me. And you really got to like take in what Jesus did for us personally and realize where you would be without it. 